All right, welcome back everybody to our channel. I'm Ben. I'm Ryan, and we are the Pest Guys. All right. Kevin's hanging out behind the camera. Hey, today hey, Kevbo. What's up? All right. So today we are transitioning of how to choose a pest control company from the outside to, to the, the inside, inside service. of your issues once you see them on the inside you've already got problems on the inside so what happens once you start seeing these problems on the inside then well i think that's a bad thing let's look over here so you got a wall right outside of the bugs right i'm inside if i'm seeing bugs in here they've come through this wall how did they get in here okay okay so basically what we're trying to say is if there's there's two reasons why you're seeing them. One, because there's too many in the walls. Big problem. And they're coming out. Or two, because they're looking for food or water. Right, absolutely. And again, in the kitchen, this is one of the main areas. You've got moisture coming from pipes and from the sink. Uh, and you got food. Food. <laughs> what do we have in here? Well, an orange? We got an orange. Eat. All right. So, but then you've also got food. Cooking, you've got oils and greases. And then you're dropping food as you're cooking or your yeah. kids are in here. Yeah, so we're gonna focus on inside service. Your pest control company should focus on moisture areas. Kitchen, bathrooms, and there's other areas that we'll talk about right. too, but those have gotta be where they focus. Right. Well, if somebody shows up with a pump sprayer or a backpack sprayer to spray the inside, you just get rid of them. You don't want them in there. Was that, that's way too much product it's in too places much. that you don't need it. Yeah, and it's not precision. Remember, we talked about these that, being precision. That, to me, is the key. This is precision, precise, for inside the home, getting the key areas where the bugs are, right? Yeah, so they should be using a tin can or a VNG sprayer when they're doing the inside. The reason is, we're gonna target specific areas. We can't spray your whole house, no. cabinet, sinks, everything no. like that. And that's ineffective. Yeah, and it really is, it's just, they're not gonna be crawling around the face of the cabinet. They are, we got a different problem. Right. But we wanna target specific things in the house that make it worthwhile spread. Absolutely. All right, so um, what do we typically see in kitchens behind sinks? Well, normally there's a window here, but okay. this one's different. Oh, we're in an office right now, but in a home, you're typically gonna see a window which brings heat, okay? So that's gonna drive bugs out, heat, also, what's behind these walls, Ben? Well, there's gotta be pipes somewhere for all of this stuff. Okay, so there's pipes. You've got heat coming from windows. That's gonna drive the bugs to the moisture areas and the pipes that are within the walls. If your company never opens underneath your sink, then you've got a problem. You've got all of these pipes. There's water lines and pipes, drain pipes, and they go through the wall. So if we look, you know, this is just a little plastic cover and then the pipe, it actually just dripped. <laughs> so there is moisture on those pipes and this is where bugs are gonna love it because they can come and they can get moisture that condensates or they can come from the wall. What I typically see is that contractors cut those holes for the pipes to run out bigger than. Yeah, and I can put in some shots of what it looks like before they put all the cabinets and the sheetrock in there. We'll put them in here right now. That way you can see that there's usually a gap around the outside of the pipe that can come through. Bugs are pretty small. You know, a mouse can fit through a Absolutely. small hole and, a, and an ant is much smaller. So what we want to do here, what you should have your pest control company doing here is they should have some sort of treatment spray that, and again, precision, precision. So I've got a straw on this. What I want to do is I want to get right in that spot where what the do pipe's we, coming What through. do we call that, Ben? This is this. crack and crevice treatment, right? Absolutely. So what we're doing, this is a crack and crevice treatment because we're going in to the wall voids and we're putting product in there that's going to 
This is almost a foamy type product okay. that goes in there and it sprays out. That way when they're going in and out, they're gonna get it on. Absolutely. Okay, now behind the kitchen sinks, we, we've showed you down below the kitchen sink with the cracks and crevices. Are there cracks and crevices along the sink a lot of times? Everywhere. Okay. I mean, I've seen ants come out of these outlets. Well, there's all sorts of spots. Right? Ants coming out of that. I've actually been in homes where I've lifted up the dish soap. And again, there's moisture under the dish soap. Yeah, there sure is. There's a big puddle of water there right now. What I've seen is actually nests of ants under those or under the sponges. Mm -hmm. Again, retains moisture, water. And so what you want to do when you're treating or your company, they need to be getting back in these cracks and crevices as well. And did you know that when they put in the cabinets, they're a little bit smaller than the wall. This piece right here is called scribe. And a scribe is just to cover that gap. So if you put your finger up there, look at that, I can fit my whole thing. Plenty of room for cabinet. spiders and anything to hide, right? Definitely. Okay, so you know what I hate? Clogged toilets? Definitely. Okay. But what do you hate, Ben? I hate it when we go to treat. Okay. And it's a mess. So especially the kitchen, because you know, if we're gonna put products down, but they've got crumbs and dirt. Right, and they're competing. And all that. The, the, food, the food is competing against the product, right? Yeah, so that's why you've got to make sure that your house and your areas are clean, especially before pest control. Well, and that's why, again, with the sponges, I'm holding the sponge. No, I'm not weird. Um, these retain the moisture. Weird. Okay, I am weird. They retain moisture, but they've got grease and food on them. Always make sure to squeeze those out so they're dry and wash them out to get all the food and crumbs off of this, all the grease. Otherwise, again, our products aren't gonna be effective because they're going to other food sources. Yeah, right? they got chocolate cake here. Why are they gonna eat wheat bread? Is there milk with that chocolate cake? Because uh, if there is, I'm on definitely. it. All right. <laughs> so what do we do when we get inside the home as a technician? Well, the first thing I do is I take my shoes off. That's just a common courtesy, I think, that a company should be doing. Why do we take our shoes off? Well, we tried booties. The problem is they get- He said booties. <laughs> they get a little bit dirty because you reuse them and reuse them and that you can kind of track around. Right. These houses are nice, some of them. We're in an office well, right does now. It, does it matter if it's a nice home or not? It, a home is a home, right? Yeah, I mean- I don't want people tracking there. anything in my home, period. So that's the first thing I would do. Okay. Uh, the next thing I would do is, Obviously an inspection. We talked about how an inspection is important. We want to look for specific areas and doors and windows and stuff like that. Kitchen that we need to... So I'm, I'm potentially talking to the customer, finding out where their problem areas are. Again, if they say they're seeing problems, we know there's a major problem in that area. That yeah. doesn't mean we're not going to treat in other areas, but we will really focus on that particular area for that particular problem. Correct. Definitely. Definitely. Once we've established what we're going to do, obviously you've got to spray. We talked about spraying. We told you the tools to use. So how do you spray and what do you, what should you expect? So what if a company comes in and they don't treat the baseboards in the home or they don't get around the window sills and those types of areas? You should kick them out. It's really. not an effective company, right? Yeah, no. In fact, I've actually been in meetings with other companies, um, with their CEOs, and what they talk about is saving money. And so they do away with the baseboard or the windowsill treatment. And they do what's called just a crack and crevice treatment. All that's doing for them is saving them on the bottom line. It's not helping you as a customer with your problems because where do bugs run at night? Well, they run along the wall. So they're gonna run along your baseboards. And when there's a crack, like right here in the corner, that's where they're gonna pop out and then they're gonna run along the wall and we wanna get product where they're going to be. So when I'm spraying, right, like this room, I'm gonna come along the baseboard all the way around. I'm gonna spray. What you mentioned is some companies will do a crack and crevice. So they won't do a continuous spray barrier on the inside. But I've seen, I've seen spiders and I know you guys have too, where they actually run along the floorboards at night or sometimes during the morning, and they're coming to get you, right? Or so yeah. you think. Yeah. But a lot of times your ants are moving along there, um, silverfish, any of those types of bugs, they like pressure on one side of their body. They feel safer that way. Hey, that's called thigmatrophic. 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 Oh, there I got go. it, I got it. Anyway, so we do the baseboards. 
We as a company make sure that we do get all the baseboards throughout the home that are accessible. Do we get baseboards where they might have computer equipment and things like that? We do our best. So we'll get where we can. If it's electrical or pets or toys, we're gonna skip that area because we don't wanna get anything that's gonna harm Absolutely. anything or cause a fire. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> so when we're... What do you got there? <laughs> hey, this is old school, but yeah, he has the job done, right? It's not a and g It's not. Get out of my house. <laughs> and that's just it. We don't want old school type products, old school type services in the home. Again, we talk about fogging. Do we want to fog the entire home? Oh, heck no. Okay, so show us what we need to be doing today, Ben. Well, we talked about spraying the baseboards. One of the key areas that we want to focus on is the windows and doors, the entry points. So a company that's worth its weight is going to spray, obviously, across the baseboard. They should be spraying a window sill. And if you look at this one, there's already dead bugs here. That means last time we sprayed, we did a good job because they're dying. Why do they like the window? Again, uh, heat. Once they're in the home, they're looking for an exit a lot of times and, and windows condensate too right so there's moisture there but that's where they can get in usually it's a hole in your house that they plug up with a piece of glass piece of glass and sometimes caulk and it's, it's not always perfect. it's not always sealed perfectly you know man i'm tired that was a long video right yeah it kind of was <laughs> We kind of get long-winded, but that's we, okay. we love to talk. We love to present to you guys and show you what the best options are for your money. Yeah. So thanks for joining us today. Next time, we're going to continue talking about the inside service. Love me some inside service. We're going to get to all the nitty gritty and everything, how to, what to look for, and to keep your pets safe. All right. Well, that's enough for today. I'm Ben. I'm Ryan. And this is Wyatt. And we're the Pest Guys. Catch you later.